What's going on guys? It's VJ Burst of Doom Room Studios and I'm finally doing another unboxing. I've waited nearly two weeks to do this unboxing. I just haven't had time to do it and with school and work and everything it's definitely difficult to do that. And I just have to be in the mood for an unboxing. Like, I have to be feeling confident and ready and like if I'm having a bad day or whatever I just don't feel like doing it so that's why it's been so long. This is a package from my good buddy Corey Beckett. Uh, he's definitely become my plug for Be Something Studios masks, that's what's in here, there are three in here. Um, he hit me up right after Mask Fest and was like, hey, uh, I'll give you these three masks for this price. And originally I was going to turn it down because it was just after Mask Fest. Um, I bought quite a bit of stuff there and I figured I didn't really need to be buying anything else. But the price was too good, uh, I couldn't turn it down, so I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and take it. He got them to me about a week later. Uh, and I've had them in my apartment for a good like two weeks now, so I'm definitely ready to be unboxing it But that is one of the crappy things about doing unboxing is because if I'm not ready to do it I can't open it so until I do the video I don't know what's in here or I just can't really see what's in here But yeah, I'm definitely ready to open this up. So let's do it Much better. There we go. I probably just stabbed the mask, it's not gonna lie. Okay, box is open. In here we got three Be Something Studios masks. Uh, two of them are tagged, one of them is not. Go ahead and take them out of the box first. Really, Corey? Packing peanuts? Gosh. Okay. First up, I believe this is one of the tag ones. Oh, by the way, I don't know anything about these masks. Uh, I just know they're Be Something Studios, and he gave them to me for a good price, so I kind of turned them down. First up, we have Robert No De Niro. <laughs> That's a play on words for Robert De Niro. Since it's no De Niro, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a Hispanic guy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, this is from 1992. So yeah, that's a cool one. Perfect condition. Tag is in good condition. And yeah. Next up, we've got bar exam. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this one. Uh, definitely a weird one. This one is from the year 1992 as well. Another perfect condition tag. But yeah, like I said, Corey has definitely become my plug when it comes to old Be Something Studios masks. He has a ton of them. He knows I collect them, so anytime he has some for sale, he gives them to me. So here we have uh, like a graduate, high school graduate or whatever graduate mask. Um, this one's 1987, so a little bit older. I'm pretty sure this is like a legit like graduation cap, just like stitched onto the mask. But yeah, that's a pretty cool sculpt as well. Yeah, so those are the masks. Uh, I don't have any heads here at school, so I don't know how I'm going to display them, but somehow I'll put them on the table or something, get them all together, that way you can see them all. And yeah, um, that'll be it for this video. I'm going home this weekend, so I'll be back in the dorm room. I'm going to be doing a video on all my Mask Fest masks. I haven't forgot about that. I'm still going to do that. And then I think I'm going to do a video on my, uh, my Lester costume for my haunt that I work at. You guys saw it in my Mask Fest vlog, but um, not really up close and personal, so I'm going to go through like all the little parts of it, how we can get like a really in-depth look at it. And yeah, that will be it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, it feels good to be doing another unboxing. But yeah, be sure to go down, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.